Yeah, I'm reflective window. Hey, Julia, look down here. <laughs> they're both, they're both. They were both sitting at the window, but of course I forgot that uh, my windows have that reflective coating. You can't, you can't get anything out of those windows. They just reflect. Oh well. Anyway, um, just a minute. I'm, I'm trying to balance my my coffee, my camera, and my camcorder. My camera, my phone, and my Ugh. And I made my coffee just hot enough that I would be able to drink it. And, uh, scratch my nose. And not steam up my glasses. And all of the purple flowers in the grass. Grass got cut yesterday. And you see all the lovely dandelions <clears throat> just peeking up on the lawn. <clears throat> dandelions, purple flowers over there, hidden by the grass. Okay, so I was watching the uh, celebrations, the VE Day celebrations in Europe. That's kind of cool how the Canadians are once again welcomed in in Holland, in the Netherlands because they liberated the country so many years ago, 30 years ago, uh, 30 years ago, 70 years ago, today. On VE Day. Okay, I'm going to put down the... Uh, I'm going to put down my coffee. Because it's killing me. And my nose is itching. Everything's itching. It's only 8.30. And it's 20 degrees. It's not supposed to stay that way. There are a few green... Little green leaves on the tree. Just came out. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, I've lost Mark's tag again. Mark's tag. Alrighty, here we go. Mark's tag. I hung on to this ever since I got it. Alrighty. I'm distracted by the birds and the sun and the sparrows and my nose. Okay. You're driving along on a long trip. Would you rather listen to the music of your choice, a series of talk shows that you enjoy, travel in silence, or something else? Um, well, we used to travel to Montreal twice a year. I'd say that I, uh, I like the mixture of talk shows to music. You know, a little bit of music, a little bit of talk shows.
because um, just talk shows may get boring, just music may get boring. So we would, well, we listen to the CBC, and with the CBC, Canadian Broadcasting, um, you get a mixture. So I'd say both by listening to the CBC. Talk and music. We're on the verge of bringing back the woolly mammoth, should we? Well, um, should we? I don't think we would actually bring back the original woolly mammoth. We would mix in DNA from elephants and a little sparrow. I don't think it would be a true woolly mammoth, but as close as we can get to it. Get away, get away. Um, should we bring back the woolly mammoth? I don't know. I mean, what harm? But uh, what gain? I suppose just to see it, just to prove we could do it. Really, what? Well, why? And the the argument that we shouldn't bring back dinos dinosaurs because we never drove them extinct, but. The woolly mammoth was our fault. Who cares what whose fault it was? We are just as much a part of nature as you know, anything else. We are naturally here, and unless you, you know, discover that we are aliens from another planet, we are naturally Earthlings. And thus, a part of nature. And we really uh, can't have that taken away from us, can we? Was there a point to what I was saying? I don't know. Should we bring back the woolly mammoth? I don't know. What the hell? Sure. as long as we don't drive into extinction our elephants because of it I don't know that's my point of view um e what do you think Julia? he says I could see through the little crack in a big city where you have two choices, two choices of public transportation, taxi or subway, which would you prefer if you have to go way across town? You have to go way across town and you have two choices, taxi or subway. Ooh, cool, you've got a subway. We don't have a subway here. We're not that big. Um, I really like subways. Um, it's like the choice of taking a bus or a train. I'd way much prefer a train because you can get up, you can walk, you can amble, you can, you know, it's just, you have the freedom. Uh, subway to cab, same thing. You can get up, you can, you know, move around, uh, change seats, whatever, uh, if there are that many seats. I don't know if it's crowded. But yeah, I, I did really like um, any traveling that I did on, on subways a lot better than getting into a cab. I found cab was, well, of course it's, it's too much like a car. Well, it's exactly a car. But you could smell 
all the personal smells of every previous passenger or you know it was just too close take it easy guys I'm having fun too close I like subways I like subways. <laughs> oh, there you are again. Yes, they're doing something next door there. Don't know what they're doing, but it's gotten too loud. Okay. Everyone's complaining about this. I think I've answered the tag. I've lost track of my thoughts. Um, the reason I mentioned the, uh, the VE Day ceremonies just like the other day where all I saw during my stretching in the morning on the news or on the on TV uh, were the new baby news well all that's on this morning is the VE Day celebrations in Holland with our Canadian um, commentators or whatever because you know you go down the streets of Appledorn and there's nothing but people saying thank you Canadians, thank you Canadians. So that's kind of cool. And it's, it's uh, something that personally affects me because my husband and I are both results of that, um, that day. Because my husband's mother lived through the occupation, the German occupation in, uh, in Holland. And uh, my father was a German soldier. And yet here we both end up as Canadians, born Canadians. In Canada. It's lovely. It's just a small world that, you know, thousands and thousands of miles away, you know, decades and decades ago, and yet here we are. One of my uh, evening classes last week had. Um, Two new students that walked in a few minutes apart, and as the other, as the one woman was sitting and the other woman walked in, she says, "Oh, I know you." I said, "Oh yeah, we're not friends." And she says, "Well, we are, but uh, they were both from Guyana, and years ago they'd known each other in Guyana. They're." Uh, one woman's sister was best friends with this other woman. And unbeknownst to them, thousands of miles away, they come to Canada and are studying to get their citizenship, applying for their citizenship, their Canadian citizenship here in Canada. It's just a small world, it really is. Anyway, ta for now. <laughs>